Greetings fellow tank commanders, in this video I'm going to be showing you a game that I played with the Oni. This is a tier 7 Japanese tech tree heavy tank, and in this game it is fitted with the fully upgraded 10cm cannon. The game I'm playing is an encounter battle on cliff with tier 8 as the top tier and one artillery on each team. I'm going to head up towards the base of the lighthouse on the inside of the map. I find it a fun place to fight for heavy tanks like the Oni, which have guns that perform best at short to medium range. It's also an important area to contest no matter if you're doing a standard battle or an encounter battle. I saw the enemy IS streaking so I stopped to aim this shot. It would have been nice to be able to track them to get more damage, but for the Oni to be in position to get shots on streaking enemies early in the game is already lucky enough for me. I really like using the 10cm cannon on the Oni. The fully upgraded package is quite an improvement from the guns that you're using with the OI tank at tier 6. It's got better damage and penetration. It's reliable enough and its reload time isn't long enough to take you out of the battle for too long. I have mine at just under 10 seconds, which will keep you relatively at pace with the rate of fire of other tanks at your tier. There is of course an appeal to use the 15cm cannon with HE shells, but since it's the exact same gun that you're using at tier 6, it definitely doesn't have that same level of impact at the higher tiers. The 10cm cannon is reliable enough and performs well for this style of tank. My team has a much stronger presence at this area of the map than the enemy and it's not too hard to destroy the few enemies that are on this flank. I was of course paying attention to the pressure that the enemy was putting on the base, but with three of my teammates already resetting the capture, there was no reason why I couldn't stay here for a few extra seconds to get an easy damage hit. I wish I had aimed that shot a little better there because I gave up some easy damage. With my teammates closing in from both sides, the enemy really doesn't have a chance to hold this position. The Oni is a decent ridgeline fighter, it's got a strong turret, and pretty good gun depression considering its size. I switched back over to my premium ammunition to fight this KV-4. I could have just kept with my regular rounds and continued targeting his Coppola, but the game was still really close and I didn't want to give the enemy any advantages to take the base back, and if I'm going to be trading shots with a tier 8 tank I want to be reliable at dealing my damage. My teammates were able to get shots on the enemy from multiple directions here. A good portion of the remaining tanks are focusing on my teammates which are flanking around to the right of me, which is alleviating a lot of the pressure which they could have been putting on the base, which leaves them in a very awkward situation here of getting caught in crossfires, and it leaves them with very few options to try and reset the base. This fatherland attempts to reset the base to prolong the game, and it's painful to see one of their top tier heavy tanks having to make such a move. This ram I try to do here does not work out well. I'm not able to destroy the fatherland with it and I mess up my teammate's shot. While taking a shot in the side that hits my ammo rack and I have to use a 20,000 silver repair kit. Because of its massive size the Oni seems like a really good tank to try and ram with but I have found it to be rather disappointing and it usually ends up just getting you into more trouble. So I really wouldn't recommend trying to use the Oni as a ramming tank unless you're really sure of the outcome. Also remembering that if you ram a small tank you're going to have trouble with your gun depression hitting them at all. 
and you'll end up just having to shoot at components of their turret. That's two easy shots now that haven't managed to do damage to the T-29, but overall I've had a solid game so I'm not going to complain, and I still get the chance to finish them off. Unfortunately I'm not fast enough to get any damage on the remaining tanks, and my teammates decide to capture the base instead of trying to hunt down the remaining light tank. It would have been nice to have the opportunity to get some extra damage, but I don't exactly want to chase the light tank up to the top of the lighthouse with an Oni. In this game I lost 552 silver and that's because I had to use my large repair kit after that fail ram. I managed to earn 6798 experience with a 2 times multiplier from the string theory op. In this game I managed to deal 4612 damage, assist with 558 damage, and destroy 4 enemies while blocking 940 damage. This earned me high caliber and mastery badge ace tanker. I placed at the top of my team earning a base XP of 2,256. I managed to hit 20 of my 22 shots and penetrate 17 of those. I'm happy with those stats considering I was in a tier 8 game. In terms of crew and module damage, I injured the gunner in the KV-2, injured the commander in the nameless, and injured the radio operator in the KV-4. Well that's all for this video, I hope you enjoyed seeing that game with the Oni and that I'll help you use its 10cm cannon to fight at short and medium ranges when you're not top tier. This tank has some great damage potential and it can absorb a lot of enemy fire, so just make sure that you're not overextending too early in the game, and to just trade and absorb shots alongside your teammates. Stay tuned for more awesome World of Tanks videos.